So I like to think of it like this. Quantum computers started as an idea. They're getting more and more teeth. At the moment, they're like, you know, little little tiger, baby tigers that are like, have little pointy teeth. They can hurt you, but they're not gonna break crypto. But they keep going in the direction that they're going and we keep going in the pace, at the pace that we're going. Within the next five years or so, we're gonna see a quantum computer with teeth big enough to take a bite out of your, out of your blockchain's ass, okay? And so, how do we make blockchain secure against these things? We can't ask the scientists and the researchers to stop doing work and to stop advancing computer science. That's not going to work. So we have to, on our side, as people building production systems, whether, by, and by the way, outside of blockchain, this doesn't matter whether you're, it's a banking application, whether it's encryption on a database for your, for your customer data, or whether it's a blockchain like Bitcoin or Avalanche, all cryptography that's used, all public key cryptography that's currently used will likely have to be upgraded. And so that means replacing elliptic curves in RSA with post-quantum schemes. Now, post-quantum schemes don't use elliptic curves or don't use the factorization of large semi-primes as a security trapdoor. Um, they use things like finding a path through an n-dimensional lattice or multivariate calculations or the, the strength of code-based schemes or hash-based schemes or super singular isogenies. There's all these different mathematical techniques on how to do crypto in a way that quantum computers can't, can't uh, attack or can attack but can't break. Um, and so we're taking this seriously. Some blockchains are saying, ah, we never have to worry about this, uh, but we're taking it seriously. The US government is taking it seriously. You know, NIST, uh, one of their agencies has spent a shit ton of time standardizing what they believe to be safe cryptography in, in the context of quantum computers. And so we've already, let's say we, Algorand has already applied post-quantum cryptography to its blockchain. And, and so largely again, so zooming out of Algorand and talking about blockchains more, more generally, because I think it's important to talk about it in a more general sense. When you're making your blockchain post-quantum secure, high level, you need to do three things. You need to secure the history of the chain. So all the stuff that was done with the old cryptography up to this point. You need to secure the consensus mechanism because typically, not always, but typically the consensus mechanisms for proof of stake blockchains use crypto cryptography that's vulnerable to quantum attack. And you need to finally secure the accounts.